What's up guys? Welcome to another 10 Pitman video. The journey has begun. We are on our way to Beijing for IPF. Here is the team. In the back seat, of course. What are the expectations, boys? How do you feel? Wait, we need to stay here a little bit. Because there is so much. Maybe we want to watch. <laughs> we have a wounded soldier. What happened? Oh yeah. Final. Finals. Wow. Finals? Wow. Finals. Sammy's. <laughs> Christian is like kind of down to earth a bit. Just go for it, go for it. Down the tee. Preparing his sword, his weapon. No F bombs unless it's a forehand. Genius. Oh. Wow, let's go. Beauty. It's like my backhand that I hit that one time. Wow, sick. That's insane, bro. Come on. So we have here. The thing, why it was perfectly set. So we, <laughs> you serious man? This is the respect for my players. He still has to learn another lesson learned. Woo! That was good. 6 1, he's set in the back. match and now we are watching the first seat play Nikita that's the player that Christian trained with yesterday 
so we are just like uh, observing and maybe trying to learn something it's very windy today I just told Christian he will have to adjust his game to this it's I mean it's the same for everyone but definitely you need to make some uh, changes you cannot play the regular game you gotta bring that ball more in the court so like bigger targets you cannot go for some too precise shots too risky shots so more like it towards the middle of the court and also maybe use the different rotations because I think the slice can go a little bit smoother through the air so when you play against the wind the slice can go with a little bit more control and we've seen that the key now is playing some slice as well let's check out Nice, bravo! Alright, so we're heading up, heading up to the court to see what's the score. We watch some matches and it's always nice to learn uh, from these different players, main draw players. Christian wants to share with me some strategy. Actually, not tennis strategy, but a little bit to get the mind of tennis. What's the strategy about? It was dollar eighty. Dollar eighty. What does it mean? So um, you have your two cents, which represents that your opinion, and you leave like a quality or like valuable opinion on each post. So it's not actual money. It's just like representing. Uh, yeah. Two cents is like one of your. So it's a comment. It's a comment, yeah. So yeah, he suggests you put 90 comments per day. Yeah. So he he basically suggests you not to train tennis, just to stay on Instagram and keep posting. Yeah, yeah. This is like you go to the nine top posts on each hashtag. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then do it for ten different hashtags. Yeah. I got it. I know. Of course I know. This, this is basic man. It's like, okay, let's check out the court. He's gonna play on court eight. It's right here. a little bit different bounce but they will have a longer warm-up so we get used to it the man in action the warrior the legend the knight the soldier the savage on court mr christian yanchi or how they pronounce jancy warming up for his first round main drop it's gonna be in about maybe 45 minutes uh, he likes to start the warm-up earlier so he slowly gets into that moving mode and you know a little bit getting active uh, we will do some like quickness exercises some reaction and maybe a few volleys because today is a very specific situation there are no courts around for training there's zillion matches around because there is main draw 64 boys and girls and then there are doubles after so they didn't provide any courts for training which I think it's a little bit insane actually they should have made a different schedule I, I don't like it the only warm-up courts were early mornings and that was reserved for the first and second round matches today Christian has a third round match he doesn't have a court to warm up but they said from third round on they will have longer warm-ups whatever that means I hope he can get a feel of the courts because this side has a little bit faster surface the courts were resurfaced looking forward to that it's a little bit windy as i mentioned but that's going to be interesting experience and i hope he can handle it so let's see save the shoes huh Of you. What a fair play. What a fair play by Yanchi. He's getting ready. He's 
in the zone, preparing his sword, his weapon. It's showtime. Christian has a new pre-match ritual. It goes like this. It's good for focus, it's for concentration and hand and eye coordination. Nice, good start. Big, come on. Good eyes, nice. I like the mix up, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Sick, sick, come on. That's insane, bro. Come on. Six one. This set in the back. Let's go. Interesting thing happened. The opponent took a toilet break. That's usually players like to do when they lose the first set. So they try to regroup, calm down. Hopefully, Christian will continue with the same rhythm. It's just important to stay intense and literally start from zero again without relaxing. And especially in the beginning of the second set, now it's very important. Come on, one at a time. Nice. Wow. Big, bro. Huge. Yes. Big. Huge F bomb. Let's go. Be smart, slow down on serve. Come on.
stay sharp, okay? Next one, come on. Every point. Bravo! Huge! tough conditions but I think he did pretty good uh, handling the different scenario on the court and also opponent was playing a different style and also made this longer break between the sets he managed to stay focused after that and yeah just got the job done not uh, the prettiest win but the win counts as a win so very very good effort today and he's through to the second round main draw Tomorrow he will play for the first ITF point. Again, uh, a big chance for him. Looking forward to that. And yeah, that's it. Afternoon, probably light training again. Then rest, recover, and new day, new challenge again. Let's go. Let's see what this boy has to say about the match and how it feels. It was a pretty decent effort. Yeah, let's let's talk to him. Nice, sweet. Yeah. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. That's all. You must have. You must have something. What's the dominant feeling? Um. Wait. We need to stay here a little bit because there is so much. Maybe we want to watch. <laughs> no. How do you feel? Um, it was alright. Six one six three. Yeah. In tough conditions. Yeah. It was actually really tough. Like I was watching, and for me, I felt uncomfortable. Like so many times, I was feeling this is so tough. But I think overall, it was pretty decent effort there was a few moments a little bit like you lost the focus like some ups and downs but it was not so drastic and you really quickly managed to regroup it was maybe two points the most where you had like a little drop it was just like mentally tough to play because like i feel like at full one my opponent like gave up in first set yeah in first set then he took a bathroom break for like 10 minutes long break But now, yeah, you can see now how, how much wind is around. It's like huge. It's a huge win, and it's changing all the time. Yeah. You happy? Excited for a win? Yeah. Tomorrow course. it's tomorrow it's the match for the points again. Yeah. And actually, maybe we can watch the opponent there. But do you want to watch the opponent, or you want to watch the the blonde here? Look, you see? He's playing there. Yeah, let's see the blonde. Nice. Uh, I swear you put that on YouTube, I'm gonna... I'm what? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go check out the opponent. Right. The opponent had... He had pretty, pretty big forehand and he can hit some backhands. Sir was kind of weak, but I think overall overall it looked kind of consistent just and so many things and I think your serve was a bit bigger mm -hmm. more effective in the win Hey guys just want to jump in real quickly here at the end thank you so much for watching our videos and for all of your engagement it really means so much to us and just want to say if you if you really enjoy consuming our content and if you support everything we do and you maybe want to kind of uh, 
contribute to our 10 Fitman team, you're very welcome to visit our Patreon page and I will put the, the link somewhere here and I will also put it down below in the description. Over there you will see that we have many many cool projects and ideas in our minds and we are really looking forward to it and then with having you as our wings we will be able to get there much faster and actually make all this journey closer to you and share all these amazing moments with you. So. Please go there and check out our page. Once again, thank you so much for watching us and for following. And I'll see you very soon in our next video.